Lesson 11. Physics Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity Introduction Course. On the last video, we talked about rigid bodies. Today we are going to explore the several types of colliders the Unity engine has to offer, and how to use them. Step 2. Colliders the collider components are specific components that are used to define the shape of an object for the purposes of physical collisions. The colliders are invisible and do not need to have the exact same shape as the object's mesh. Ideally, a rough approximation of the shape is more efficient and will be indistinguishable in gameplay. In Unity you can define the colliders in two groups, the 3D colliders and the 2D colliders. For this video we will focus on the 3D colliders and leave the 2D group for when we cover the 2D features of the engine. However, keep in mind that they work in a similar way. On a 3D environment, you can use a total of four different colliders, the box collider, the sphere collider, the capsule collider, the wheel collider, and the mesh collider. We will cover each one of the colliders individually in order to give you a better understanding of the differences between them and how they work. Step 3. Box Collider One of the simplest colliders is the Box Collider. To use it, select a game object, and on the Inspector tab, search for Box Collider. Keep in mind that if you add, for example, a cube game object to your scene, the game object will contain a box collider component by default. As you can see, you have four parameters on the component. If you enable as trigger, the collider will be used for triggering events only, which means that will be ignored by the physics engine. Next, you have material. You can set a physics behavior to your collider by adding a physics material to it. We will not explain how physics materials work since we are going to do a video exclusively to them. For now, just keep in mind that they allow you to define the physics behavior of game objects. Finally, you have center and size. Here you can change the values on the three axis of the collider. You can use center to change the collider position relative to the game object, or change its size by tweaking the values of the size axis. The box colliders are obviously useful for anything roughly box-shaped, such as a crate or a chest. However, a thin box can be used as a floor, wall, or ramp, and the box shape is also a useful element in a compound collider. Step 4. Sphere Collider The next collider is the Sphere Collider. To use it, select a game object and on the Inspector tab, search for Sphere Collider. Again, if you add a Sphere Game Object to your scene, the Game Object will contain a Sphere Collider component by default. As you can see, most of the parameters are identical to the Box Collider. You have is Trigger, Material to define a Physics Material to the Game Object, and Center. However, the size parameter was replaced by the radius. Here you can define the radius of the sphere collider. This collider can be resized with the radius property, but cannot be scaled along the axis independently. As well as the obvious use for spherical objects, for example balls, the sphere also works well for falling boulders, and other objects that need to roll and tumble. This was our first video on Unity 3D Colliders. On the next video, we cover the remaining three colliders. If you have any doubts or feedback, leave it on the comment section below. Until next time, and keep doing awesome games.